Okay, in problem number 33, we would like to find an equation of the tangent line to the curve y equals x plus 5 over x minus 1 at the point where x is equal to 3. Okay, now when we're trying to find the equation of the tangent line, we always have to just go back to the basics. What do we need to know to find the equation of a line? Well, you need two things, right? You need a point that is on that line, and you need the slope of the line at that point. So if you know a point and you know a slope, then you can figure out the equation of the line. Well, I can easily find a point, and the way I find the point is just plug in 3 to the function and see what I get. So if I plugged in 3 here, what would I get? I'd get 3 plus 5, 8 on top, and 3 minus 1, 2 on bottom. So I'd get 8 over 2, uh, which is 4, right? So I get a point. Uh, the point that I'm looking for is the point 3, and we said it was 8 over 2, which is 4. So I get the point 3, 4. So I want this line to go through the point 3, 4, and I want its slope. And the way that I figure out its slope is I want to take the derivative of this function and then plug in 3 to see what's the slope when x equals 3. So let's take the derivative of this function. And so I say uh, dy over dx is equal to and we notice that this is a quotient. And since it's a quotient, I'm going to need to use the quotient rule. So I'm going to take the bottom and always write the bottom down first when you're using the quotient rule. So I write x minus 1 down times the derivative of what's on the top. But the derivative of x plus 5 is just 1 plus 0, or 1, minus the top, x plus 5, times the derivative of what's on bottom, which is also 1, divided by the bottom, which is x minus 1, quantity squared. Okay, so here's my derivative. I want to know what is the derivative when x is equal to 3. So uh, one way of writing that is I'll say dy dx, and I'll write a little bar by the dy dx, and I might even write down here like x equals 3, uh, which just says, what's the derivative evaluated when x is equal to 3? So let's put in 3 for x and see what we get. So I get 3 minus 1, which is 2 times 1, minus, if I plug in 3, I get 3 plus 5, which is 8 times 1, divided by, if I plug in 3, I get 3 minus 1, which is 2 squared, 2 squared. So I get 2 minus 8, which is minus 6, divided by 4. So I get minus 6 over 4, which could also be written as minus 3 over 2. Okay, so in other words, that is my slope. So I got a point, I plugged into the original equation and got my point, I plugged into the derivative equation and got my slope, which is minus 3 over 2. Now I just need to find the actual equation. So let's write these things down. My point is 3, 4. My slope, I'll call that m, is minus 3 over 2. Now let me erase real quick. And now we just want to use the point-slope equation of a line that y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And so I get y minus y1, which is 4, is equal to m minus 3 over 2 times x minus x1, which is 3. So we get y minus 4 equals negative 3 over 2 x plus... 9 over 2. Now add 4 to both sides, and we get y equals minus 3 over 2x. And then I have to add 4 to 9 halves. Well, how many halves is 4? I suppose it's 8 halves. And 8 halves plus 9 halves is 17 halves. So 
so we get the line y equals negative 3 over 2x plus 17 over 2. And that is the equation of the tangent line to this curve at this point.